Hi everybody, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing kind of a soft glam makeup look using the ColourPop Whatever palette. This is actually their um, fall palette they released this past year. Um, I've already got my brows done, my eyes are uh, primed and set, and let's get into it. So taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to use this shade, Copycat. And I'm just going to start blending that into the crease. Next up, I'm going to take this brush. It is um, an It Cosmetics brush. And I'm going to take the shade Pass It On, which is kind of like this pumpkin-y burnt orange shade. And I'm just going to kind of place that right on the outer third and blend that in. The color is very, very pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy brush we used for the first shade, the copycat shade. And I'm just gonna kind of go over those edges again, just to blend everything together. Make sure we have no harsh lines. I'm gonna take the shade Ditch and You on my finger. It's a really, really pretty kind of coppery, rose gold shift almost. Not really rose gold, very coppery and bronzy, and I'm going to place that right on my lid. Well, it kind of looks a little bit rose gold. So we're just going to place that right on the lid. And take just a tiny little touch more of the deep orange to pass it on. Because I got that shimmer shade all over the place. And I just want to clean that up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take my fluffy brush again, just kind of blend all that in, I'm going to dab just a tiny bit in a copycat, and place that right there, right around the edges. Okay, we're going to recreate the same thing on the other eye, so we're just going to go back in with copycat, and blend that into the crease. Now we're going to take Pass It On and just press it right into the outer third like we did before. I like to press it, um, press it kind of into a triangle shape to create a bit of a wing effect. And we're just going to blend that in. That got a little bit intense, but that's okay. Also, this <laughs> sparkly shade, I feel like, is everywhere. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take that fluffy brush again and just blend out those edges. Make sure everything is nice and soft. I don't want any harsh lines. I need to take a little bit more of the Pass It On shade and press it right here. A lot of times when I'm blending colors onto my left eye, they don't want to stick right there, so I have to kind of work with it and be very careful not to blend them away because my eye is weird. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna take Ditching You on my finger again and just sort of pat that in to the lid. I'm going to take a flat brush. This is an e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to take Ditching You and pat that on again. Right over where we pressed it on with our finger. Now I'm going to take a little liner brush. This is just an e.l.f. 
small angled brush and I'm going to take the shade in bold. It's kind of like a cool tone brown. And I'm going to just press it on to my lash line. Kind of give me an eyeliner shape without the eyeliner. Uh, sometimes when I do my eyeliner or I'm doing eyeshadow like an eyeliner, I have to hold down my lashes. So um, I just feel like since I have hooded lids, that holding down my lashes gives me better control over my tool and then I am able to actually see where I'm going. Hooded lids and my lashes are extremely, extremely blonde. Um, I just feel like it gives me a little bit better of control, so just bear with me for a moment better control and I can like get really in close to my lash line and I'm not pulling at my skin or tugging at it or anything I am just holding my lashes down very very gently plus I have pretty flinchy eyes anytime anything gets near my flinch so this way I'm not like blinking uncontrollably while I'm trying to do liner I think I want to take just a little teeny bit of Mr. Bright Side, so it's like this kind of plummy shade, on my liner brush and just kind of press it into the outer portion of the wing just to give it a little bit more definition and smokiness. And do the same thing on the other eye. Alright, so that portion is done. We're going to um, do my face really quick and then we'll come back to the eyes in a little bit. So I'm going to go in with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. <clears throat> I just like to rub my finger in it and I press it under my eyes because um, I have fine lines and I feel like it helps my concealer from settling into them too much. And then I press it into my pore areas. So like right around my nose and especially since I'm a little bit sick right now I've got a sinus infection I want to make sure that my makeup doesn't rub off too much around my nose area and in my smile lines and then I've also got some wrinkles on my forehead so I'm gonna rub it in there I also have very dry skin and I want to make sure that my skin stays hydrated I like to use another primer on top of the Tatcha um, it's not like really mattifying on me it just makes everything very very smooth and um keeps my makeup last wow it makes everything look very very smooth and helps my makeup last longer but i like the i heart revolution coconut dream hydrating primer it's got vitamin c and e in it um it's just a very nice hydrating primer and i just press that in where i feel like i need a little bit more hydration so especially on my upper lip and on my cheeks all right for foundation today I'm gonna go in with my once holy grail foundation this is the CYO long-lasting life proof foundation um, this whole brand has been discontinued but the soap and glory kick-ass foundation is supposedly an exact dupe an exact dupe for this um, I have not personally tried it myself Taylor Wynn here on YouTube, she did a whole comparison video and this was her also her holy grail foundation and she said it, it's it, exactly the same thing. Um, I have like three bottles of this though, two bottles now, I have two bottles of this so I am not going to be buying the Soap and Glory one anytime soon but it's an option if you ever tried this one and you're sad that it was discontinued like me. Um, so I'm just going to put a little pump on the back of my hand. I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics foundation brush. I believe this is the um, It Cosmetics for Ultra Brush, and I think it's the number 101, but uh, the name has completely worn off of it, as um, all of these It Cosmetics brushes do. I don't know why. I'm just going to press that in. I love this foundation so so much it is so pretty 
and glowy. And it's a really, really good shade match for me. I'm just going to pump just a little bit more out in the back of my hand. And I love it. It's got a bit of a grayish. I don't know if you can see that. Grayish undertone. Like when you first put it on. But it blends into my skin really, really nicely. Most foundations that I wear tend to look a little heavy around my upper lip area. Um, I just have a lot of texture there. I don't really know. So I don't worry about that too, too much. Um, but that's also why I like to use the hydrating primer uh, to try and help with that texture. So I'm just going to go in with my beauty sponge. This is one from Sephora that I bought. This I really like. I don't think they sell it anymore though. It was like called the matcha or something. Matcha set. It came with like this really little precision concealer brush, but not brush concealer sponge but um I lost that a long time ago you know with kids sometimes they just lose stuff so I'm just pressing that in making sure everything is nice and blended all right I've got another mirror off to the side here so if you see me looking over here it's because I'm looking in this mirror not just at my my camera all right next up I'm gonna go in with my flower bo booty flower booty Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. This is in the shade L1 Fair. It is a uh, pretty dark for a fair concealer, but I really like it. It's very, very hydrating, very creamy, and I think it matches my skin tone really well. I'm just going to kind of clean up this line just a tiny bit because I want everything to look seamless. All right, so that's been sat down for about 30 seconds now. Sat down, wow, this has been sitting for about 30 seconds now. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my sponge. I feel like my under eyes look so tired. Is that a thing? Can your just your under eyes look tired? Next, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Amber. This is a really nice uh, cool tone contour shade. And I'm just going to place that right here on my cheeks. And we're going to contour the cheek area. Um, I've kind of been taking my contour up just a little bit higher. Um, because... Sometimes I can get really heavy handed with it and then it'll end up like being all the way down here and then you can't really fix that. Um, so I've learned that if you go up like onto your cheekbone instead of like normally I would go like right down here but if you go right up onto your cheekbone it can especially if you get heavy handed with it, um, you can kind of fix that, you know, looking like you're bronzed or contoured all the way down to your chin. So we're just blending that in really quick. Really nice. I love that match. Ugh. This was the first Fenty Beauty, this is the, no, okay, like, this was the first Fenty Beauty product I've ever bought, and I am obsessed with it. I also own their hydrating foundation, which I really liked during the summer, but now that my skin has gotten really dry in the winter, it just doesn't work for me. Well, I guess I haven't tried it since the fall. It wasn't working for me. Like, when the weather started to get colder, it just started to look a little bit heavier, cakier. And I'm just like, in the winter, I need products that aren't going to look heavy and cakey on my face. I'm going to set my under eyes with the number 7 Lift and Luminate Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Light. Um, supposedly, this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury, whatever, however you say it, Airbrushed flawless finishing powder it's just a really really finely milled 
translucent powder and I love how airbrushed it makes my under eyes look. Next I'm going to go with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I've hit pan on this bad boy finally. You can see a little, little, little bit right there. I'm going to take, um, this is a BH Cosmetics angled fluffy, I don't know what it is, bronzer brush. It's a 114. I'm just going to kind of press that in. I love this bronzer. This is in the shade light bronze. I think next time. I would just get the normal bronzer shade because sometimes the light bronze one can tend to look a little bit orange on my skin tone. I think it looks okay today. I think it depends like on what I'm wearing and the foundation I'm wearing and how heavy handed I am with it. Today we're just going to do a little bit of bronze. Alright, next I'm going to... Highlight. What am I going to use for highlight? You know what? I'm going to go grab a highlighter. I'll be right back. Oh man, it is really snowing outside. Okay, so this is my Becca, Chloe, and Malika BFF, whatever, um, palette. This is the Chloe one, I believe. Um, I don't think they sell this anymore. But I'm going to use the highlighter in this. It's called Glow Up. And I'm just gonna put that on the high points of my face. And I just like to buff that in. Such a pretty, pretty highlighter. And I just wanna build that up a little bit. hair is like getting in my highlighter. Next we're going to go on with blush. This is, I'm just going to drop everything apparently. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Rosy. Mm. I think that'll be okay. I'm just going to be very, very light handed with it. Smile and press it in. Kind of buff it in a little bit. I have not found a blush brush that I really like so far. So if you have any recommendations on a good blush brush, please let me know. This is just like like a mermaid brush I got off of Wish a while ago. And they completely fell apart. Um, this is like the only one I have left. I went a little heavy-handed with that blush. Oopsies. Um, yeah, this is like the only one I have left of that set, and it's it's okay. They're not like the best brushes ever. Okay, I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of press in the edges, try and kind of blend that out a little bit, so it's not quite so extreme. I'm going to go in and um, use a little bit of setting spray really quick because I just like to melt all the powders together. And um, then we're going to go in and finish the eye look. So I've got my Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I always try to make sure I get the middle of my face really, really well because that's where I tend to get the most dryness is around my lips and my cheeks. I'm just going to press all that in with my sponge. All right, we're going to go back into my whatever palette. We're going to take the pass it on shade on just a kind of flat. Um, this is from, I got this in a boxy charm. It was a brush set. It's from the Vintage Cosmetic Company. It's just like a little chubby flat brush. I'm going to take the shade, pass it on, and just press that under the lash line. I'm 
And then I'm going to take in bold, which is that cool tone brown, and press that right on the outer portion. And then I'm going to take Mr. Bright Side, which is that kind of maroon shade we used. And I'm just going to put it right there. Kind of smoke it out. Make it all look seamless. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And yes, I'm just using the same brush for all three shades. Alright, um, I think I want to take a little bit of Tardy, which is this super shock shade up here in the corner. And I'm just going to press it right over that um, Ditch in You shade. I just kind of want to lighten it up just a touch. Oh, that's so sparkly, so pretty. Okay, I like to place my inner corner highlight right there, and then I kind of scoop it upwards and blend it out. So just place it on the inner corner and then kind of scoop up. And then I also like to bring it down and connect it to the uh, lower lash line shadow also. Now we're going to take my Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. That is my absolute favorite setting spray ever. I love this setting spray so much. I love the mist on it. I love how it makes my makeup look and I'm just gonna press press that in okay okay um, next we're going to do mascara uh, this is the Believe Beauty Volumen Eyes mascara um, you can get this at Dollar General it's about five dollars and I'm just gonna I'm going to go in with my lower lash mascara now. This is the e.l.f. Waterproof Length and Volume Mascara. Just got a little stubby little wand. I really like the Believe Beauty Mascara, but I feel like um, it's just way too lengthening for my bottom lashes. I don't quite like my bottom lashes to look that long. And the brush is a lot bigger so I feel like I can't quite get all my lashes coated as nicely next up we're gonna go in with one of my favorite things in the entire universe this is the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, the Little Rock Pirates of the Caribbean lipstick in the shade Trident there's also a lip gloss on the end um, this is so so pretty one of my friends gave this to me and unfortunately they don't sell this anymore but it is such a pretty peachy nude shade and I love it I'm obsessed with it it's very oh, oh no I just dropped it mm. it's so pretty it's so comfortable and it wears down beautifully beautifully on me I am obsessed with it all right, everybody, so this is the finished look. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you would, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. It would really help me out, and I would really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.